Hello folks, I am back and this time I'm back with a firearms review and what you see before you is the Sig Sauer P229 Legion SAO standing for single action only. Now I have been looking for this firearm for quite some time and I wasn't able to uh, find this firearm. Uh, I do have the other Legions in single action only and at the time when I decided to get this particular model, it was not available. So I had to get the double action, single action version, but I'll come back to that a little bit later. And here it is. This is the uh, single action only. I'll do a quick uh, safety check on this. So everybody knows everything is safe. There's nothing in the chamber here and there is nothing in the magazine here. And as you see, as, after I rack the slide, uh, you notice that the hammer is back and you have a safety here. The safety here prevents it from, uh, for, from the hammer t falling uh, forward as if it were like a 1911 uh, firearm. So I'm just going to bring that hammer down. And I'm going to give you the specs on this firearm right now. Uh, this has, like I said, this is the single action version of the P229 Legion. Uh, it, it also has the x-ray sights on here. The x-ray sights, that, which are pretty popular um, um, with SIG owners. And also the barrel length. The barrel length is going to be 3.9 inches. So you'll see that barrel length here at 3.9 inches. The overall length is going to be uh, 7.1 inches. Uh, the overall, uh, well, the overall width is going to be 1.7 inches. The height is going to be 5.5 inches, and the weight is going to be 32 ounces. It also uh, features a sight radius of. I believe that's going to be 5.7 with this with the sight radius here, giving you good uh, picture uh, acquisition for your targeting, as well as it has the SIG rail. Now, this is not the uh, the Picatinny uh, rail or, uh, that is really standard on, uh, I believe it's called the 1913 Picatinny rail. Uh, they This is uh, not the standard rail that is on uh, most... Uh, firearms. This is just the SIG proprietary rails, but it does work with uh, your various lights and lasers, etc. Uh, you would also notice that it has a single action trigger, and if you look at this trigger here, it is a flat face trigger. Uh, most of the, uh, the legion, uh, legions have the flat face trigger, and if you look at the the striker fire versions, the P320X series, it has a trigger similar to this. The flat trigger works very well, uh, and I pretty much like that trigger a lot. So it's just it's a flat trigger. There's a little hook right at the bottom there, so your finger will not uh, slip off or go under the uh, the trigger guard, so it, so you won't have that pinching effect. Uh, it might vary b between. Uh, certain people's hand sizes though. Uh, also the the other thing is the barrel which is made of a what they call a carbon steel. The frame is a is made what they call their uh, their legion gray finish. Now I'll talk about the finish in a moment here. It's their legion gray finish. And one thing about the this uh, frame here, if you notice right here, you have the nice serrations up in the front for, for better grip. The also the serrations right underneath the trigger guard. So when you get that good grip there, you have it right underneath, so you don't have any slippage during recoil. Also, as well, you have serrations in the front. Some people like to shoot with the with their pointing finger on this particular uh, uh, this uh, trigger guard. So they like to hold that this way and that way they'll be able to have a different grip. It all depends on you on how your grip style is uh, when shooting at the range. 
uh, the, uh, I, the material for the frame is a alloy. The alloy, it's a light uh, a frame where it can be carryable. And this is what I would say somewhere near Glock 19-ish um, size. So instead of a having all heavy steel frame, you're able to uh, carry this a little bit more comfortably um, during a, let's say, a day session when you need to carry a decent concealed carry firearm. The slide is made from a, sting, a stainless steel material here. And it, if you look up top on the slide, if I can wipe some of the oil down that it's got in the bag again, it, you'll have that Legion logo up the top here. Uh, it I am a big fan of the Legion uh, series. I do have a collection of Legions and I have one to go. So this is going, this is my next to last Legion for the collection. Um, I selected uh, this one because I'm a big 1911 uh, type fan. So I like the single action uh, only type of uh, triggering or in these particular firearms. So that's one of the reasons why I got this. And uh, one unique thing is not only that you can uh, put the safety on the, the cock and lock it for carry purposes, you can also load a magazine with this and you would place the magazine in. And while it's on safe, you can safely load a magazine. And I paused the, uh, the camera just to demonstrate that a little bit. So here are my snap caps. These are not live rounds. These are snap caps. I'm going to put the one in. And so you'll see how that works because some people ask me about that. You place your magazine in. Also, as you see, the safety is now up. You rack your slide. Let it pop forward. And what you'll have here, you'll see the magazine let me try that again. I did hit the magazine release by mistake. So your snap cap, sorry, in the magazine. Make sure it's secured now. You rack your slide. And as you see, the round would, uh, would chamber itself and it would be safely into the uh, chambered. So when you pull the trigger, nothing will happen. So that's a good safety feature. I find that unique uh, with the SIG line. You can't do that with a 1911. So that's how that will work. Let me get that snap cap out of there. And here we go. Uh, yes, and one of the other things that I like about uh, this firearm, like I said, I'm a big fan of the Legion series, particularly the classic line that uh, Six Hour has. I'm a big fan of the classic uh, line series. That's what got me into Sigs way back in the early 90s. So I'm a big fan of that. So just to show you a little bit of a comparison, this is the double action only version. Oh, correction, a double action, single action version where you have the long pull and you would have that round that first double action round sent off uh down range now one thing about the uh with six hour they do have a very good uh what i would say um smooth trigger as well as resets on their triggers so uh on the double action single action it's known for what they call the srt trigger so let's say you fire uh, fire around it comes up and your reset is very short right there. So I do like that feature, but I wanted it to have it in the single action only version. Uh, I will be doing a comparison between the two, but I did another comparison with this firearm and I will show you that in another video momentarily. But to get back to this, what I like about this is, it reminds me of what they call the 2011 pistols. And I did do a comparison with this with the Staccato C2. You'll see that uh, video momentarily. So, uh, like I said, I've always 
a, a big fan of the classic line style. And now that it's in uh, the two, uh, P229 uh, series, I'm really happy about that. So I'm just going to keep this video short right now because I'm going to show you the uh, comparison video. So before I do that, I'm going to show you what I shot at the range with this firearm. This is, I'm going to fold it over. This, these are the shots that I was, that I was getting here. Uh, I'm going to have to probably stand up to get it a better idea. But these are, this is the targeting that I was doing. I started out at seven. This is at 10 yards. Now I did have some trouble with the ammunition. Uh, it was, it is the uh, federal ammunition. Uh, it was, there was no malfunctions to, on the firearm. It fed very well, but I didn't like the way the, of, um, the ammunition was performing. It, it was the Syntec ammo. I'll explain that in the other video. But at 10 yards, it shot very well. Uh, at first, I was shooting a little low. This is on the other target. I shot a little low, and I had to bring that up. Usually, anything with a high bore, actually, you hear that term a lot. I usually have to aim a little higher to get, get my sight picture. Uh, if I aim a little lower, it would come down too low. So I was experimenting, and I think I got it down pat so it uh, requires a slight six o'clock hold right about here for me just to get within this area here or around here and like i said there were no malfunctions on this firearm whatsoever but like i said in the next video you're going to un uh, understand what i'm talking about that and i was not happy with that ammo and i'll explain that in another video with that said happy shooting stay safe hashtag 2a